Cool Sci. Hey, what guys? Welcome back from a video. So, yeah, this is our town hall uh, subscribe space reviews. And uh, hey, guys, thanks for everyone who has commented and left a um, a easy picking of high level players. Really, uh, so everyone's really high level in this. Uh, in the subscribers base review so thanks for leaving all the comments so first up we have skywalker 349 he is in the, the town hall 10 uh, at level 77 which you don't see much of and uh, he has a really nice pace for a level 77 because he's actually on town hall 10 it makes him really hard to get uh, resources so as you saw there the cannon level 6 and the uh, arch tower level 6 and all them uh, they're the things that you really do want to upgrade. Uh, next thing you should want to upgrade are your Dark Elixir Jewels. They are right, uh, right tool for Dark Elixir when, say, you go off and stuff. It really does help a lot when uh, they're at a higher level. So, indeed, you have a farming base and you have some nice purple walls there on the inside inside layers. But um, the only bad thing I see here are the low uh, defences. And you have a level 6 mortar on the outside, which uh, I don't know what you're going to replace with it. But you have four elixir storages in the centre. And the, the best way I could do uh, in breaking into your base is easy uh, just putting like at least six wall breakers to get it through the uh, middle section. And then flank with some, um, with some goblins or barbarians or whatever some easy troops go in and you have a really weird climb because you're on level 77 and you have such a nice base uh you have level 3 troops so yeah sh do try moving to other clan but next up we have arcas one two three from the clan troopers so this guy has a very nice town hall 7 upgrade into town hall 8 and it's a weird place to put his town hall um i don't know if he just had a spare place to put it but um he has one problem that I have with this base, and basically on the middle section where his wizard tower and his uh, can uh, mortar is, you can double lightning it, and uh, yeah, really easy with lightning spells. They're really vulnerable with lightning spells. Uh, he has very nice troops, all level four, I believe. A barbarian king, which is always really helpful, and the gaps that you see there, I believe that's where he has spoon traps and stuff. Um, he also has very nice level 7 walls, they do help a lot for Town Hall 8 when you do upgrade. Um, say they might not help as much for wall breakers, but do they help a lot for troops. Uh, as if somebody tries to uh, raid you, it's just 600 more uh, health to get through. So moving on to the next guy, we have I Am Techers, level 69 from Nightbreed. Uh, he is indeed a Town Hall 8 and he has his clan castle in the middle. Uh, level 4 1 and he's really lucky to get into a clan like this even though he has quite high uh, trophies it's like the best opportunity i believe uh this clan is probably in the top 300 or something and it's a really nice clan so um basically he is a farming player which is pretty weird because he has quite a lot of trophies and uh the only things that i could see going wrong are your uh cannons and your arch towers as they are quite low for town hall 8 uh, despite your level 69 you do have really awesome level 5 troops and you have level 5 wizard towers and you have level 6 uh, mortars which do help quite a lot but where you see those uh, wizard towers and uh, mortars and where the air defense and mortar is and then mortar where the wizards are they are really also really vulnerable uh, i'm showing it on the screen right now they're really vo vulnerable to attacks uh, with lightning spells once again uh, double lightning or triple lightning will easily take them both away and uh, could lead you to a loss of say 100,000 of gold taken off you but yeah next guy we have jambo zambo this time he has a farming base um so with most farming base is uh, you have your town hall outside and your clan castle in the middle centered and uh, he has a real nice town hall outside there uh, where nothing can reach his town hall which means people will think yeah definitely take this guy and uh, it'll give him a free shield for 12 hours uh, he has a real nice clan he's that uh, indeed the, old, uh, the i think he's the leader so yeah really well done on that he um 
I don't know, this base is really good, in my opinion, because the other resources are separated quite equally, um, they're not like just in one place or whatever, which, uh, he does have his skull storage and his elixir, st dark elixir storage in the middle, however, I don't really find it that hard, well, yeah, I don't find it that hard, because you could flank where this mortar here, right here is, and then you could go in through that side, so yeah, try, um, at least swap one of your gold storages with uh, elixir storages, so then uh, they don't only take gold or just take elixir. So yeah, overall, really nice base and uh, very nice level 5 troops as well, you have level 9 cannons and try upgrading them. But moving on, we have this guy, Robbie, from a clan that doesn't say, but he is a town hall 8 and he has level 5 troops for 50, level 54. You're doing well, I've got to say. Um, the only bad thing is you have pretty low level walls. Now, what I suggest doing is putting some more uh, uh, defenses in the middle. I know that you're probably trying to protect your resources, but what they can do easily is what I normally do to people breaking through wall breakers. Some giants, and then you can get in and take most of your resources. Also, uh, make a new base design because this isn't really useful as wall breakers can get in really easily. Um, like one wall breaker could get into two walls, and a level five one can get one level five wall breaker can get into a level five wall. Um, so yeah, but another thing that you have is a level five barbarian king, which is amazing. Um, for level fifty four, I've got to say. Which, yeah, congratulations on that, but bad thing is, you have a level 6 cannon, but then you've got a level 10 cannon, which I'm really confused about, because, like, try even out everything, uh, so you have a level 2 wizard tower trying to upgrade that instead of, say, your cannon to level 10, because if it was me, I'll try to upgrade my cheapest to uh, most expensive, as it's an easier order, and uh, it makes things more even. So yeah, very nice uh, base overall, you are actually in the clan Dark Wave, and it's a really nice clan, so yeah, thanks for submitting your base. Now next up, we have Pickle743, and he's in clan Dark RB555, uh, he has no clan castle troops, which I suggest you getting some quickly, and um, nice clan by the way, the clan castle is really well centralised, and he is indeed a town hall 7. With a farming base, uh, and he's going really well. Uh, level 57, he's definitely on the. Yeah, he's already in Town Hall 8. So, yeah, the only bad things that you do need to upgrade are your uh, elixir collectors, which. and your gold mines as well. Uh, actually, no, the gold mines are doing really well. Uh, your elixir collectors need to go up a tiny bit more. Uh, same with the other people, their like, collectors and mines are really low, which will not really help but when they say you go off or something it will help quite a lot but where the mortar is and the air defense and where the wizard tower and the uh, mortar is it's again easy and vulnerable to lightning spells if they are clever enough to use them uh, overall though you have little six uh, walls which do help quite a lot for town hall seven but you do try need to you do need to try get to the level seven walls uh, you also have level four troops and a dark barracks level two which is really useful and um Another thing that you do need to do are your air defences as they will come in really handy, handy in Town Hall 8. Next up we have Trinton from Whirlpool Pride which he has moved clans this time. Level 68 and 1633 trophies and again I believe he's uh, using a farming setup I think. Uh, but he has, yeah he is, uh, but he has just been raided which is unfortunate to show you but he does have very nice wizard towers like last time and uh, another thing he does need to upgrade are his arch towers and cannons as they are really awesome but he has really nice troops level 5 wizards they help quite a lot i do use balloons every day at least once and they are just amazing uh there's not really any sign of using lightning spells uh effectively here i don't see anything that's too near to each other which is really awesome and you have a good variety of level uh level troops you have also got a 109 low 109 in masters league champions league i think uh sorry and so yeah you're really lucky to go into a clan like this and um drop your trophies man if you're farming because 
try 1300 uh, trophies it's a amazing range for farming as I farm quite a lot and it'll be awesome if I find you on this and uh, and fail to attack you because I would probably most likely wouldn't attack you as you haven't been on that space you also have a dark pirates level 2 moving on we have awesomeness from Exodius no Exodius uh, 2 which is owned by John Liang's uh, John Liang from YouTube which is awesome uh, congratulations to getting and I tried quite a lot you have a really nice base as well for 81 rate uh, level player yeah you're definitely going in the right direction my friend you have level 2 level 5 wizards and they will help a lot to defend uh, against enemies or in fact they are even better for offense if you need the uh, extra troops However, you are farming again, Town Hall 9, and you have your clan castle in the middle, centralised, really centralised, and you have nice troops. Um, try upgrading your archers as well, they're, they're a top priority for a Town Hall 9. Uh, I know it's hard to get, but yeah, just try in for that. But the things that you do need to improve on are your air defences. I probably think, nah, yeah, you probably just upgraded to Town Hall 9, so I can't really moan at you for that too much because you don't really have any uh, level 11 stuff but with your cannons you do need to upgrade them and you have a level 8 arch tower which you need to focus on and with the mortar there uh, a bit to the right you need to try put it somewhere uh, which I actually can't find anywhere that you put it which is pretty bizarre uh, I don't know where you would put it but I can't actually find it anywhere but you do have a sign of uh, using spring traps which is good but anyways, we have a nice base, and yeah, thanks for watching guys, uh, thanks a lot to everyone who has left a comment, it has helped me a lot, I did not know that I was going to get so many comments, like, it just exploded, so thanks a lot, and I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks, peace.